Hey guys, welcome to another Game Tech Super Sham video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the brand new Amazon Fire phone that Amazon just released to the press uh, about like f 10 hours ago. Um, so, as you can see, it's actually quite a cheap smartphone at the bottom end of it. But that's the last thing we're going to be talking about. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the specs. Because I think it is a little bit behind in the spec department. So it has a 2.2 GHz Snapdragon 800 processor, which is not slow in any stretch of the imagination, but it's not the same processor in the brand new phones that are coming out now, such as the G3, the Galaxy S5, HTC M8, and they have the 801, which is 802 actually even, which are which is faster than this one, but this isn't a slow one. It has 2 gigs of RAM, so, again, not a bad spec sheet, not a bad, 2 gigs of RAM is average, but the newer phones, again, have 3 gigs of RAM. Again, it's just a little behind. Uh, it has a 4.7 inch screen, so, you know, not tremendously huge, but a little bigger than the iPhone, but it's only 720p, which, again, isn't going to make the biggest difference in the world to the naked eye, but you might find the difference in text. And, you know, these things were, they weren't the top of the line, but then again, neither is the price, right? The price, like I said, 199 That's pretty good. Uh, for Snapdragon 800 phone, that's kind of unheard of. Uh, so I'm going to talk about some of these new features they introduced with this phone. The first one is dynamic perspective. Uh, this pretty much is, first I should probably say that there's, five, six cameras on the phone, actually. There are five front-facing cameras and one back-facing camera. The five front-facing cameras do not help in selfies. They don't help with the selfies. Uh, they help with dynamic perspective. Now, what dynamic perspective is, is as you tilt the phone, uh, you can three-dimensionally zoom in, look at different sides, um, do different things in apps and stuff. So for it's, it's new, I don't know how much it's going to be used, but it's definitely an interesting aspect. Um, Firefly technology was another one that I think is going to be used a lot. It's kind of like Google Glass on your Android device. It, you just take a picture of anything, and it recognizes it and lets you buy it or read it. For example, this magazine here, you take a picture of it in Firefly, the app, and it tells you that it's this magazine from April 2014, and if you click on it, you can you can buy it since it's Amazon. You know they want you to buy things. And there's Mayday, which we saw in the tablets, the Kindle Fire HDX, and everything. Uh, limited time. There's Prime, which is a big deal to a lot of people, not to me. So here's dynamic perspective I was talking about. It just immerses you three dimensional. Firefly Mayday. Uh. The camera is 13 megapixels, 1080p video, not a big deal. It has optical image stabilization, nothing special, average, no big deal. There are Android apps, but again, it's severely limited. Not even like close to how many apps you can get on like the actual Android and iOS, probably 10% of those, which is actually a lot, over 100,000, but the amount that are good, the amount that are actually useful, pretty bad. And the carousel that we're all known to by now, the fire, they actually added a uh, widget section, as you can see right here, beneath it. So that's pretty interesting, because you can look at information now. I wonder where they got that from. Um, audio, the stereo speakers, again, quite average. You know, and it's just, Amazon stuff is really put it in the spotlight here. For example, x-rays on it, but that was on the Kindle Fire too. So, it's really just, a lot of features are just taken from the Kindle Fire HDX. Next version of Fire OS looks neater. I really like the new look, based on what I'm seeing. Uh, lots of new colors. The first thing I thought of this was another colorful, colorful flagship phone from uh, Apple. But that didn't go so well. So hopefully uh, Amazon can avoid that fate. And here's some technical details. I've heard that it's actually quite a thick phone. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see what happens when people actually start holding it. 
But that is uh, pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, if you want to see more, more detailed look at this, I actually have a blog post on my website where I write about it. Um, and I'll have the link to that in the description. It's on my website. Uh, but overall, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, actually, I'll also have a link to the Amazon website that this is on in the description. Uh, the videos you can ch you can check out the videos I uh, on their website. You can do all that stuff. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I know that this was also trending on Twitter earlier, so I hope this answered some questions you may have had. If you didn't, just leave them in the comments, and I will try to answer them. See you in the next one, guys.